What do you want? Well, I've been looking all over for you. You're supposed to be with your grandfather. Well, there wasn't anything I could do for him. So invite me in, huh? Would you get your head out of the way? I want to shut the door. Rachel, are you crying? It's none of your business. Well, I'm going to make it my business. You have a lot of nerve. What's, what's the suitcase for? Where are you going? You're coming to get me tomorrow. Who's coming to get you? The social worker people. It's Frank's. Why? Because... Dr. Rossi couldn't tell me to my face, so we left a note. Just a note. Well, at least I'll be out of everybody's way, and I won't be the town nuisance anymore. You know what I think? I think you're acting like a spoiled brat. You're, you're, you're wallowing in self-pity. Self-pity? Just because Dr. Rossi leaves for a couple of days doesn't mean that it's the end of the world that he's deserted you. Oh, leave me alone. You know what? You know what? I think you've got the wrong idea about him anyway. His whole world doesn't revolve around you, Rachel. I mean, he's got a job. Let's face that. Please. I don't want to see you hurt. Don't worry. I mean, a, well, a lot of his patients have had a crush on him. I don't have a crush on him. And I'm tired of hearing everybody explain Dr. Rossi to me. Well, why aren't you packing your new clothes in the suitcase? Because I don't need charity. Charity? I'm sending them back. Dr. Rossi paid for them. What have you got against people being kind? He didn't tell me about it. The man was being tactful. Oh. He was... He, look, listen to me. He wasn't treating you any more like a charity case than Mrs. Carson was when she went with you to buy those things. Some people just plain like you. Oh. Believe it or not. I happen to know that Mrs. Carson feels sorry for me. She's asked me to come and live at their house. They take care of baby Matthew. I'm not going to do it. When did that come up? Mr. Carson was here a little while ago. And I told him I wasn't interested. Oh, yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. You are interested. And I'm going to take you over there right now. Sit down. No, no, don't sit down. Go comb that hair. I can't go. They don't really want me. Mr. Carson doesn't trust me. He thinks of things about Allison that I haven't told him. And Mrs. Carson just talked him into it to be kind. I happen to know that... Mrs. Carson doesn't do things just to be kind. Now comb that hair. And I thought you liked Mrs. Carson. I do. And you think, you think she's capable of being two-faced, huh? <laughs> oh, please, Rachel, please don't cry. Hey. I think Mrs. Carson's the kindest woman I ever met. She's beautiful, like my mother was. Oh, go away. Here. Now, I want you to wash your face and comb your hair, and I'll take you over to the Carson's. Where was he when you found him? He must have smelled the smoke. He, he got this far. Not much damage upstairs, I guess. What a mess. 
I don't think anything can be salvaged. No. This place will never be the same. It doesn't seem to bother you, does it? Seeing this place ruined? Hardly. Maybe it's a good thing, Stephen. The fire's burned away the past. At least there won't be any bad memories here for you anymore. I want it. What? When Mr. Payton called me to his hospital room, he asked me what I wanted. And this house is what you want? Yes. I didn't know it then, but I do now. I want it, Betty, just the way it is, with its heart burnt out. And all the stuffy, pompous, arrogant trappings wrecked. We'll pull them all down and get rid of them. Open this place up and let some fresh air in. That's a pretty big order. We can do it. We can do it. That means living here with Mr. Payton, having to face him every day. Is that what you want? Don't you think I'm up to it? And after all, I am a Payton, aren't I? Yes, Stephen, you are. Well, then why not? Yes. This place could use some fresh ideas. I never liked the way it looked. Depressing, heavy, all that. That dreary red plush. We'll get new carpets and new furniture. Oh, it could be beautiful. Oh, Stephen, let's. Let's come here and make this place our landmark. Continuing story of Peyton Place. I'm gonna chop you into tiny pieces and I'm gonna wash you down the drain. In my own way and in my own time. Wanna go another round like we did that night in the shoreline? Do you remember how fast you hit the deck, boy? Do me a favor, will you stay away from here? Because I let you know how I feel? No, because you're married. If being married means having a life together with someone, I'm as single as you are. Mm -hmm. 